How's it going? It's Shannon from uh, Second Spin Studios here. So I wanted to do a video about recording. Um, since the COVID thing and we've been pretty well locked up at home, we've got nothing really much else to do, so we started doing home recording. So one of my biggest factors with this is I've already had this board. This is the Mackie Pro FX 16 version 2. There's a FX8 as well as an FX24. Same board, just the difference is between channels. And then on my computer, I have just a basic recording program. This could be, uh, what is this, Audition, I think, through Adobe, Cubasis, Tractor, all the same recording programs that are out there. My biggest issue that I was having is trying to get a stereo signal. When we're recording live, it's easy. I just hook up the USB to my computer and I record the main mix out and that's what we've got. When we're home, we get to have a little bit more fun and record in stereo, try different effects. And in order to do that, you have to do multi-track uh, recording. In order to do live multi-track recording, you need a USB interface. Toscam has a really good one. I don't have it set up right now, but it's just for demonstration purposes. The biggest issue I was having, it doesn't matter what program you're using, it's the, um, the recording program. So when you're assigning your recording program on your channel, in order to get stereo, you basically have to record two channels. If you record just one channel, it is most dominantly, I think, the left, if I remember correctly, which is default mono, or it's the right, is default mono. One of them is default mono. You actually have to go, I'll just grab the mouse here. You actually have to go up in here in the channel, select mono, and then I don't know if you can actually, oh, it's kind of hard, eh? to look at that, but I have, there's two options. You see USB audio one and USB audio two. You can't do both. So what you have to do is do mono, microphone, USB audio one to that channel. And then on a second track, you have the opposite mono, microphone, USB two. If you try to do a third one, like a stereo if you see here it only shows one option and i know it's really hard to demonstrate maybe what i'll do is do another uh youtube with a screen share on this but it only gives you one option in stereo you actually have to think differently and go into stereo so what you have to do on your board if you see up on my channels here i'll go over and point to them i have red and blue to, de de to define which one is left and which one's right. So out of my processor, blue is my left, is my right. Down on my pan, I've actually panned left and I've panned right. Because in order to record to the board, you have to assign sub one and two sub outs. If you don't and you do just the standard left and right, you're doing your main mix. So if you're playing music, uh, from your feed just to see what you're playing you're going to record it plus everything else you have hooked up so if you only want the individual channel to record you have to go left and right two channels pan left pan right same here this is my mic pan left pan right and then so on the rest i don't have hooked up i've been finding for recording it's really easy to just do one track at a time I'll lay the bass track, maybe harmony tracks will be after. Then the vocalist will lay his track, the drummer will do his track, guitarist, and so on. So this was sort of just a default quick step because a lot of YouTube videos about the Mackie Pro and a lot of great YouTube videos about uh, the Adobe program, but nothing to connect it to. So I thought this would just be a quick little video for you guys to see. If you have any questions, you can message me below 
and then thanks for watching.